Also to mention this regarding Supreme dropping a new North Face collaboration. I've been pretty happy and impressed with their recent ones. I think there was a period of time where it felt like they were all kind of duds. Maybe it was like a two, three year period. I didn't really like any of the Supreme collaborations with North Face, but I feel like in recent years, they've slowly kind of come back to their level where they always were at in general. And um, this is obviously um, no flipping um, example. This is probably no, what you call it? This is no exception. That's what I was going to say. I'm talking way too fast here. This is probably no exception. So we've got here classic Noopsy, which I really do like the look of with this print on the outside which kind of makes it look like it's been crinkled or something and it comes in a red and a yellow um as you can see here in purple and then, is that a black i think that's a black right is that a black that kid's got on yeah black so it comes in four colorways and then obviously you've got another jacket here also which i've never really been a fan of this type of jacket to be fair um and then you've got the pants which i'd never wear also even the beanie or the sweatpants um, I like that t-shirt, it's pretty nice, the gloves are pretty decent, the backpacks are always solid, but yeah, the print on the jacket I really do like, to be honest, it kind of gives it that weird crinkled plastic cling thing me type of look, and I'm not really, I'm not really mad at that at all, I also like the little addition of the Supreme label here towards the end here, the little red tab there looks pretty like, decent. I like how they've pinched the jacket actually on the product shot. There's these little details that they do, Supreme, which kind of do really well, like really clean classic product shots, or maybe not very whoever did it, and just pulling the drawstrings here just to kind of give this a little bit of a pinched look on the inside. Really, really nice. I like that. The Nupsi looks a bit different here, isn't it? I think, I think they've changed it slightly as well, the Nupsi. Maybe it's a different model, but there's no, usually Nupsis have like a little flap here that conceals the zip. So just have the zips ex exposed. I'm not really too fond of the zips exposed, to be fair. I kind of like it when it looks kind of clean and plush, but whatever. I'm just nitpicking there. As you can see, nice print on it. It comes in red and black. For me, the probably standout colorway I'd probably get in this would probably be yellow. Yellow or red would be probably nice, even maybe purple. But it's just to kind of make it stand out. Um, there might be a good options. Um, the, what you call it? The, the shell jacket. I'm not really too fond of, to be fair. I'm sure it is the material, right? It's not, it's just a print. It's sure it's not the, it's not the, it's not definitely crinkled. I'm pretty sure it's a print that makes it look that way. But yeah, I do like the pinch. The, the subject is fine. The trousers are cool, but I'm never wearing North Face trousers. The same way I'm never wearing North Face trainers and stuff. That's just never happening. The long sleeve is pretty decent also. The shorts are very cozy. Really, really nice, the shorts. I'm not mad at the shorts at all. These will look good as a pair of ACGs or whatnot. Um, you got got me missing on that one sleeveless um hoodies i think are horrible whenever i see a sleeveless hoodie the first thing i think of is vin diesel that's the first person i think of when i see a sleeveless hoodie vin diesel or like dwayne the rock johnson doing those pictures when he's in the gym do you know what i mean like when he's taking the selfies like i'm not not about that sleeveless hoodie life man that's just wild to me personally like if you want to sleep this hoodie, just wear a t-shirt. You know, it's like I don't understand it in the slightest. I know Kanye had a sleep this hoodie era and stuff. I didn't get that with like zips on the side. It's like what? The t-shirt's okay. Again, not wearing a North Face t-shirt. The hat is really nice. I'm definitely gonna wear that. This def definitely is a hat you're probably gonna see a few rappers donning very very soon. And the gloves are pretty okay. And the backpack is really nice too. It would have been nice if they would have done one of those tubular backpacks. I love those little. I don't know if they've got one. Maybe they have. No, they don't. They've just got a regular backpack. But I like those those little North Face backpacks that are like tubular. They're really nice. And you can. And I think there's a version that you can just carry as a little bag. And there's one you can carry as a backpack. I like them. They're kind of really um, adaptable and useful. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. I do like the look of it. So pick up Supreme for this. Let's quickly read through the information. It says, yes, Supreme has worked with North Face for a new collaboration. So a new collection of spring 2023. The collection consists of a Trom, Trompe Lioli printed tape seamed seal jacket, Noopsy jacket and a mountain pan, Montana mitt and a Borelis backpack, as well as a hooded sweatshirt, sweatpant, fleece pullover and a fleece short and t-shirt and fleece beanie. The printed tape seal jacket and a mountain park are featured water resistant recycling poly shell. The printed Noopsy features water resistant a uh, breathable uh, poly ripstop with a printed graphic and a 700 feel down insulated interior the high ply fleece pullover and short and beanie high power fleece with embroidered logos and a convertible hooded sweatshirt and sweat and sweat pant feature a brushed back fleece with zip off sleeves and lower legs it's going to be available on march 9th on thursday the only thing i'd say just as a quick note thinking about it the only thing that might be a bit of a concern I know this is, this is like a printed print, right? That's meant to look crinkled. 
that cling film, like I said, or that water or something. I don't know what else is meant to be. But the only thing I'd have a concern about it is maybe this washing out over time. Like, do you know what I mean? The print may be like going weird and washing out. Unless unless it's not printed, unless it's kind of, you know what I mean? Unless it's not digital printed, unless it's kind of been dyed on the fabric or something before they put it together. I'm not really too sure. But either way, that will be the only concern I'd have about it. Like how, how, would, this, how would this last in the wash? Because I'm not really a fan of like taking all my streetwear clothes to the to the ta to the dry cleaners. There was a time when I did that, but nowadays I just chuck myself in my regular washing machine. So, you know, I'm not too sure how how this would handle, you know, being put in with regular flipping gym clothes and stuff in the washing machine. You never know, you never know. But yeah, big up that jacket coming out Thursday. If you want it, you know where to go. If you want it, you know where to go. <laughs>